What's good, people? It's Drill Entertainment Network, and I'm here for a different video, but I did a tier list earlier this year, and I thought I'd do another one. Uh, so this time I'm doing the J-Dot Breezy album tier list, so let's just get right into it. So his first album, I mean, I gotta clarify, some of these things are um, mixtapes or EPs or whatever, whatever you call that shit, whatever. Um, so... Not all these are maybe like considered technically albums, but I don't give a shit. I'm calling them albums anyway. Um, what's that? Uh, Mass Destruction is not here because that's actually not J Dot. I mean, J Dot is like featured on it, but it's actually Greenlight's EP, not J Dot, so it's not on here. Um, I just went to Apple Music and just got whatever albums were on his page, and Mass Destruction wasn't there, so I'm not putting it here. But his first album he ever released was um, uh, Life After Rollo. This was in 2019. And it's uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I'd say it's it has like really good. It has first week. It has I think it has like tweak shit. Uh, one I think it is. Let me check. Okay, so it has yeah, it's talking shit part one. It doesn't have a tweak shit though, but it, it's pretty good still. It has some pretty good shit. Uh, first week is probably the the highlight track. So um, I'd probably put this one. I'd say I mean, first week is really good. Talking shit one is pretty good. This is like I mean, this is Jada's like first actual project, so I can't really like. I guess I can't really uh blame him too much, you know, because this is still really good for just being his first thing ever, um, but it's not that good compared to his other stuff, so I'd probably put it, like, um, I'd probably give it, like, a B, to be honest, I'd probably give it a B, um, next is, uh, what is it, next is Ghetto Lullabies, um, this one, honestly, I'm gonna give it a C, because, um, it's just, it's just not, the, uh, there's no real standout tracks on it, it's just kind of, like, a lot of, like, uh, just the pain songs, and, you know, I'm not really a big fan of the pain shit, I like Drill Dot, I don't really like Pain Dot, so I'm just gonna give it a C, um, it's still alright though, I guess, uh, highlight track, really, I, I can't really think of any real highlight tracks on here, um, yeah, really none, I mean, So Brooklyn is probably the kind of best one, I guess, but, yeah, overall, I just, I really don't like this one too much. Alright, now we're getting into the good shit. We got The Leak, alright, you already know The Leak, man, this is, like, the definitive J-Dot album, this is, like, when he really started to pick up, he really started to be good, at, really good. This is this is it. Um, so this this just really great features, really strong features from Will Go Crazy. Um, that's really, I mean, Will is like the standout guy on this album because the only other features, uh, Backstreet, and uh, I, I wonder why he didn't put J Four on this one because uh, he had J Four on the last one. I don't know why he's not on this one, but either way, the Will features really are go really hard. But even in his solo tracks like Tweak Shit, um, it's still really good. Uh, Tweak Shit is like top 10 j-dot songs ever so honestly i'm i'm just i don't know if i should put it in s or a um i don't know I, i'd say this is really good but i don't know if i'd say it's s level but I, I, i'll stick it at a for now but uh we'll see we'll see i mean i, I, I just i thought this album had more tracks actually i'm um, not just 12 i thought it had more but uh Maybe not, but Vet's also a really good song. Yeah, Tweak Shit, I'd say standout tracks, Tweak Shit, Vet, um, Gang Shit, uh, Talking Shit, Talking Shit Part 3, actually, Talking Shit Part 3, uh, those are the probably highlight tracks. Um, just compared to, like, the other later shit, I'd say it's, like, I'd say it's an A. It's still really good, though, but, you know, I'd say an A. All right, next up is Two Influence. This is a kind of interesting album. Uh, it, you know, it's kind of like people forget it exists, I feel, Two Influence, because it's, like... There's no real standout songs for it. I don't think he made any music videos to any of the songs in this album. It only has seven uh, songs. But uh, Crazy Day is actually really good. I like that one. The beat's really cool. And then Takeoff Part 4 is, is decent. I'd actually say it's probably... I'd say it's the second weakest Takeoff uh, to Takeoff... Uh, above Takeoff Part 5. I'd say it's, Takeoff Part 5 is the weakest than this one. But it's still alright. Um, but the other songs, I mean, they're not that good, but Crazy Day's really good. I think this album's a bit underappreciated. It's pretty nice. Very, uh, professionally done. Um, since it's only seven tracks, I mean, it's just these, I mean, Crazy Day's just such a good song. Uh, but overall, like, the album itself, I'd probably have to give it, like, a, probably have to give it a C, to be honest. Kind of hurts, but yeah, I, I'd probably, I'd put it above Ghetto Lullabies, though. So it's, like, high C tier, I'd say. Alright, now we got to the real good shit. Alright, almost there. Uh, this is, like... I said the leak was the definitive J Dot album. It's probably actually almost there. This is like I'd, I'd argue like this is. I'd say this is like early peak J Dot. I'd say, I mean he still makes so much good music though. But it's like, 
Ah, uh, you know that's the thing. He doesn't fall off though. That's the great thing about Jada. It's like he's always been hard. So it's not like you can say, oh, he was peak here and now he fell off. He's always been hard. Even now, he's still fucking hard and putting out great shit. But I'd say for 2020, this was like peak 2020, I guess. Jada, peak old dot, I guess you could say peak old dot. Uh, I'd probably I have to give it S tier. It's just so good. It's a very long album too. You got all sorts of great shit. You got 21 tracks. You know what I mean? That's plenty of great shit. Um. Not too many features on this one, actually. Uh, it's mostly just singles, singles with J-Dot, but he, he, he really rocks the singles. I mean, uh, I'd say this is J-Dot probably at his strongest as a solo artist, because uh, there's only, let me see, there's spins, and then there's two features on this one. There's two features, and the rest is just solo. Um, and I'd actually say the solo songs are better, because um, he, he really just goes so fucking hard on just the solo shit, like, Tweak Shit 2. Um, so I'd say the standout tracks are Tweak Shit 2, um... Straight down to business, shoot it out, of course. Uh, ain't safe, savage mode, uh, strapped, fucking all in. Like that's so much like highlight tracks for me personally. This is like that's like ten tracks out of a twenty-one. That's like half the album is standout tracks. And compared to um, compared to the last album, uh, to influence there was only one. This is just ten here. So I'd say this is definitely top ten Jada albums. Or I mean not top, whatever. I don't think he even has 10 albums, but this is, like, arguably the best J-Dot album, in my opinion. I'm still not sure. We're, we're gonna find out which one's my favorite, to be honest, because I actually haven't really thoroughly gone through this, but, um, yeah, I'd say this is just really good. Um, 10 standout tracks. Barely any features, but the, the two songs with features are both standout tracks. This is actually a really good song, really underrated, so it's strapped. Um, so yeah, I think it deserves S tier. Okay, I'm probably gonna get a fair amount of hate for this one. But to be honest, I think the creation is, uh, or the recreation is kind of, uh, it's kind of B, to be honest. Because, uh, you know, I just, I don't know. I just, I think he was he was being experimental on this one, for sure. He was kind of developing his 2021 sound. And that's one thing I, I like about J-Dot, is he'll switch up his sound from year to year. He doesn't just do the same shit. He goes, you know, like, he'll do, um, for 2020, you know, new sound, 2021, new sound, 2022, so on, so on. And he just changes his sound, which I really like. However, I'm not entirely sure I really like the way he went with this one. Because uh, he starts to get more into the pain shit on this one, which I'm not a big fan of. Camera C, though, is really hard. And uh, Creepin' Late Night is also pretty good. But other than that, I mean, those are, like, the only standout songs, to be honest. Like, to oh, Tweak Shit 3 is also good. But, like, standout songs, there's only, like, in my opinion, I'd say Tweak Shit 3, Camera C, Creepin' Late Night, and that's it. Yes, that's it, really. That's three songs out of a 22-long album. Now, compare that to... Uh, Compare that to Almost There, where 10 songs out of a 20, 21 song album were, were standout tracks. This is a quite a fall off. Um, but I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, I mean, it's 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 quality music for sure. Like I'll I'll always admit that it's quality music, but it's like not my taste, I guess. And th this is just all my opinion. So I'm not saying like don't get fucking triggered. This is all my opinion. So don't spaz out about it. But um, I'd say like I can recognize high quality music. I can recognize that music is good. But it's not necessarily my cup of tea. Like Lil Papa, I recognize Lil Papa. He puts out quality music. He puts out good music. It's just not the type of music I like listening to. Most of it. So it's like, in my opinion, like if Lil Papa was here, I'd give him like a C or something. Even though I recognize that, like for most people, it's like an S. Like I recognize. I don't know if that makes sense. He's like he's an he's like an A or S tier rapper. But in my opinion, he's like C because I just don't really like. That's not my type of music. But tangent aside yeah i'd say the the recreation or it's the okay it's the creation not the recreation okay yeah i'd say this one's probably like a b uh yeah i wouldn't say if it's as good as well i think life after a while is slightly better than the creation um but i wouldn't say it's as bad as these two so yeah i, I think it's it's good there uh at the end i might switch up the places a little all right next we got society now this used to be my favorite jada album uh but then i kind of switched i, I kind of started liking his old stuff better but the society still really good though um i'm just gonna give it i'd probably say well let's go through the let's go through the album first and then i'll rank it so for standout tracks i'd say channel four dead bands or actually i should mark them i should mark them so you guys can see better uh like okay, standout tracks channel four dead bands uh bang that thing's good i won't say it's like a standout track though uh let me see what we got tweak shit four that's a good one 7th Street, that's also a good one. Mm, one Minute of Gangster, for sure. So, yeah. So, okay, so we got, like, one, two, three, four, five standout tracks out of an 18-track uh, album. That's pretty good. Uh, Dead Band's very famous song, very... That's, like, 2021 Dot. Really good. Um, 
it's just such a vibe. Camera C and Dead Bands are just those songs for me that are just very vibey. I don't know how to like describe it, but they're like just just the you know everything the beat the the way J Dot you know his his delivery uh the lyrics the especially the camera work like Lisa Ashley um, I think she did those two videos those two videos are really good um in my opinion like just the the Airbnb whatever just set up the, the the filter it's just I don't know it's just I really like the visuals on those two I think they're really nice they make me feel good especially camera C I'm a, that one makes me feel like all inspirational and shit I mean, it's a good song like when I'm feeling bad I'll play like camera C or something that it feels good uh, Dead Bands is like a little less like I guess like inspiration or whatever for me it's still good though it's still really good but i'd say between dead bands and camera c i'd say camera c is a, a little better but uh overall back to i mean we're talking about society here um i'd say i'd say society's probably uh a tier i'd say i'd say it's an a tier but not as not as good as well is it as good as the mm, that's hard actually is it better than the leak oh, i don't know man that's that's actually a hard one uh i don't know I mean, you get you guys. Let me know in the comments. Like, w which one do you think is better, society or the leak? Cause uh, I'm actually starting to actually think society's actually better than the leak. Cause the leak is only like, I think it was like nine tracks or something. Society is is like a lot more. Um, damn, I, I actually I think I'm gonna put society higher than the leak. Actually, all right. Next we got the Quran. This is a uh, joint album with WAP, but it's still under J Dot's. Uh, thing his his page so I'm, I'm gonna count it uh no hook i'd say is like the only standout song in this one uh i i do like the uh <laughs> the whole the artwork i like the the whole theme of it i think it's pretty funny the quran um i think that's pretty good but overall like the actual contents of it i don't know i mean no hook is like the only really decent song in this one i'd say like the only standout song is no hook um everything else is just eh. so actually like i don't know if i would say like Ah, I put this tier here. I just, I, I know I said that JDOT's never made like a bad project. And I still don't think the Quran is a bad project, but it's like for JDOT standards, I feel like it is. So, and I did make this tier. I need to use it for something. So, ah, I think I'm going to have to do it. But then, then I'm going to have to put ghetto lullabies there too. And I think the Quran is slightly better. So, yeah, I mean, don't <laughs> remember, this is just my opinion. And shit is like, this shit JDOT has here is like, the best thing Nardo Wick has ever put out. Like, keep that in mind. So, like, Nardo Wick's A tier would be JDOT's shit tier. You know? So, I'm not saying this is, like, shit. Like, in for JDOT standards, this is shit. But for music in general, this is, like, some quality, like, amazing quality shit. Because JDOT is just so much better than all sorts of other rappers. Um, but I just, I, I made this tier, so I'm, I kind of have to use it. So, yeah, uh, unfortunately, the Quran and uh, Ghetto Lullabies are going there. All right, next we got Who Am I? Uh, this is kind of a... I feel like this is kind of like too influenced. It's not a very talked about album. Uh, I don't really know why. I guess it just kind of... I think because he didn't make any music videos for this. Or he, he made a music video for Long Road. It just... I, I think I know why. Because it's it was kind of overshadowed by Rage, which came out the same year. And uh, this is just Pain songs. Like, it's just a bunch of Pain songs. Like, the only... And even X Day One. That's like the only standout track from this album is X Day One. That is like a Pain song. But it's, like, a different type of pain. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's, like, it's not whiny pain. It's, like, drill pain, you know what I mean? Because it's about K Shorty. So he's, like, yeah, I can really feel it. I feel, like, his his, his frustration. I feel, like, his... his I, I can really relate, I mean, to the song, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I feel it. I feel his, his struggle in this song. Um, and it just... I guess it's just because he's not whining about bitches. Because all these other songs are just whining about bitches. And, oh, blah, 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 blah. and uh, Long Road isn't. I mean, that's more, like, PTSD, I guess. But, like... I don't know, I just don't, I mean, the beat is really good for Long Road, but, um, I just, I don't know, I just, eh, I don't really care, I don't really care, I don't really care much for Pain music, especially Pain Dot, um, X Day One, though, that's probably the only standout track here, and it's a pretty good song, uh, but still, like, I mean, one standout track out of 23 tracks, that's, nah, that, nah, I think, I think, uh, Who Am I is gonna have to go shit, too, um, but I would say, is it better than the Quran, though, um, uh, is it better than Ghetto Lullabies? I mean, I need to I need to go back and see Ghetto Lullabies because like I need to see which one's better. Uh, okay, so I mean, yeah, they they both kind of suck, honestly. The only standout track is like So Brooklyn on this one, and compared to uh uh X Day One on Who Am I. So I'd say I'd say Who Am I is a better song than um than So Brooklyn. So I'm gonna put it above this one. Uh, and actually I would put it uh, I don't know would I put it above No Hook? I mean, yeah, I think I put Who Am I there, too, because that, because Who Am I has, like, more, uh, 
tracks than the Quran. I think the Quran only has like seven. So you're, you, it's more like a bang for your buck, I guess. Even though the songs kind of suck, it's like more tracks compared to this. Like this is like nine tracks, I think, and uh, Quran is like seven. This is like twenty-two. Even though all, most or twenty-three actually, and most of the songs suck. But um, but uh, X Day One is pretty good. All right, next we got Rage, which came out only two months after Who Am I, and this one uh. Damn, I was jamming this shit, like, all of last year, uh, especially when I was in Chicago. I was just boom, 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 boom. Oh, uh, man. I think, honestly, it would be easier for me to say which songs aren't good. Like, because all of these are standout tracks. I think it's easier to say which ones are not standout tracks. And of those, it would be Opflow 2, John Madden, Ain't Saying Shit, Keep Your Head Up, Toes Out, Picked Off, Out My Body, Get Up On Them, and that's it. Because, like, it has so many standout tracks, like... Welcome back, uh, let me see, job done, bitch K definitely, uh, kills back, that's a really good song, Fallout, okay, minor, minor rant here, Fallout is, god, he's such a, god, I fucking hate this guy, like, he, I don't, I'm not gonna play the song cause copyright, but listen to kills back, alright, listen to Dot does great on it, as usual, obviously, and then Fallout comes in, and he's actually pretty hard, okay, surprisingly, he goes like, um, oh, how does it go, then I do hits for real, play with me, I get you act, run up, it's a sneak attack, Obviously dying back to back, this shit is just a chain react. Diamond's doing jumping jacks, blah, blah, blah. and then he fucks it at the end. He has this hard ass flow, and then he fucks it at the very end. He just fucks it out of nowhere, just like he's trying to fuck it. He has this fine, he has actually a pretty good flow. I'd actually say Fallout has the best flow out of anyone who wrote this beat, including Trench Baby. Fallout has the best flow on it, and then he fucks it at the very end. He fucks it out of nowhere. He's just like, eh, he's nervous. These people are aim for certain. What the fuck? How hard is it for you to just finish the fucking flow? You just need two more lines, and you fucked it. How do you do that? I fucking hate this guy. He, God, and he's just so fucking lazy, and he's old as fuck, and he's like, you know, I mean, he, he, he fucking shot one dude in the leg back at like eight years ago and acts like he's a fucking stepper. Like, he did the bare minimum to get street credentials to be a drill rapper, and now you just fuck songs up, and God, I just fuck you, man. I ran over, um... Okay, let's see what else. Uh, picked, uh, actually, mm, let me listen to the song real quick. Okay, I listened to it. Uh, it's not that good. <laughs> it's not that good. Bananas is good, though. Uh, Talking Tough is good. Uh, let me see what else. Is there. Don't Panic is good. So, yeah, so let, let's see here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven standout tracks out of a 15 track album. That's almost half the album. That's really good. Um, so, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd probably have to give this like an S tier. Ah. Uh, Either high at A tier or low S tier. Because I don't think it's as good as almost there. But it is definitely... It's at least A tier. Actually, I would I would say it's actually better than the leak. Ah, is it bad? Because uh, the leak... Let me go back. I mean, the leak only has like... Uh, let me see. The leak only has... The leak has 12 tracks. So it's less tracks than this, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the leak has really good, the, the, the few standout songs on the leak are really good, like, Tweak Shit, it's like iconic dot right here, Tweak Shit, uh, Gang Shit, Vet, um, Talking Shit, part, no, Talking Shit Part 3, Talking Shit Part 2 is good, Talking Shit Part 3 is the hardest one, uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, only three standout track compared to Rage has, like, ten, or what did I say it was, like, uh, it's a lot. It's like one, two, three, four, five. It was seven. Seven out of a fifteen track long album. The leak the leak has more iconic songs, but I'm ranking the album as a whole, not just the song. So even though the, the leak has more iconic songs, like Tweak Shit is way more iconic, way harder than, you know, job done. But but this is just has more songs that are good compared to just a few iconic bangers on, on uh, the leak. Um, however, I don't know if I'd say this is better than society. That's a hard one. This is gonna be a hard one actually. If Rage is better than Society, um, I need to go back and see Society. Okay, Society has 18 tracks. That's three more than than uh, than Rage, but the songs on Rage I just think are better. I mean, Channel Four is really fucking good. So is Dead Bands. Ugh. I mean, ah, uh, it's just there's so much good shit on Society as well. Like, let me see. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, it's five standout tracks compared to the seven on um on Rage, which is a shorter album. I just don't know. This is hard too, man. I mean, you guys let me know what you would pick too as well. I just, this is hard. Because I'd say they're both like equally pretty, pretty decent. I just don't know which one's better, man. Like, I guess if I had to like, if I was stranded on an island and I could only choose one album to listen to, I'd probably pick like, I, I guess I would pick, I think I would pick uh, Society over, over Rage. Um, 
So yeah, I'd say, but this like I would, I'm I'm saying society's better than rage, but only by like one percent. Like these are so close, they could they could basically be like at the same exact thing. But I have to put society just a tiny bit over, just because I think the songs are just slightly better. Like that's all. Yeah, but but they're still really good. Like these are basically the same thing. Just tweet uh, society's like just one percent better, basically. All right, next up is "Don't Fuck with Me Later." Uh, I remember listening to this album quite a bit earlier this year. Um... I do like some of the songs on this one. It's, it's a long album as well. It's 28. I know it's the deluxe edition, but that's what it says on Apple Music. So it still is the album, you know what I mean? 28 tracks, that's that's pretty good. Uh, standout tracks, I'd say is like... Let me see. Uh, my friend really likes this one, Rough Rider. I, I don't really like it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I mean... F okay, yeah, no, there's... So actually, so I was making my playlist for, um, for 2023, 2024, and... Uh, I basically didn't have like enough songs until, and then I just went through "Don't Fuck Me Later" and listened to a ton of them, and like, <laughs> like a quarter of the songs on just whole playlist are just J dot uh, or just "Don't Fuck Me Later" because I just put so many fucking on there because uh, they're all really good, and I didn't have any other tracks to fill it because there was uh, like earlier this year there wasn't too much good shit coming out, and then J dot like through the later half of the year just started putting out so much good shit. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta get this, so I, I just put a bunch of this um on here, um, but uh, yeah, uh, so. It's pretty good. It's like the this this all sucks. Like the first half of the album is shit, which sucks. I, I think he should have put like he should have mixed it up because the front like if I was just listening to this in chronological order, I'd be like, what the fuck is this shit? Like fuck off. But then like halfway through, it gets it gets all good all of a sudden. Like you got fuck everybody. Uh, I think keeping it coming. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Fitting for murder. Yeah, like all these like it's just bangers after bangers. Like it's I swear like it's like shit 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 and then it's like banger 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 like all in a row it's like not spread out at all like he should have put like the good ones like mixed it up a bit you know instead of just having it be all shit like you have to slug through all this shit to get to the good shit you know um let me see chop his head is also good what's another bang bang that's a good one as well uh yeah so oh no movie as well yeah gotta get that um yeah so i mean let me see so there's one two three four five six seven seven tracks out of a 28 track album that's a quarter um a quarter of the tracks that's not too good but the album is just big so it has some really strong shit in here but it just has so much just dreck just it's not bad it's just it's just so much like mediocre shit just so much like shit you have to just sludge through you know what i mean to, to get to the good shit um and it's just unfortunate because there's like so much good shit. Like if if he just cut this album in half, just had 14 tracks and kept the good ones, this would probably be like an A tier. But it's just there's so much just lame. Like it's not bad. Like I don't think Jedi ever makes bad stuff, but it's just it's just not very um impressive compared to his other shit. It's just very like just meh. Just like ugh. I don't know. Like it's, it's not that good to get to the good shit. Um. So yeah, it's just that's that's really a shame because he, he did really do some really good shit. Um. Where, where was... I think there was another one that was on here that I actually... I missed. Where was it? I, I swear it was here. It's called, uh... Where We At. I swear... Wasn't it on this one? Am I not seeing it? Oh, yeah. Where We At. There it is. Yeah, I forgot, actually. So, this is actually a really good one. I missed it, but this is also a highlight track. So, it actually does have... It has, a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, eight standout tracks out of the 28, uh, track album. That's a little better, but, um... Yeah, okay, so no, he does actually, so yeah, this is like lame, 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 hard, and then lame, lame, lame. So it, it does break up the monotony of, of mediocrity a little bit, but um, I still, it just sucks, because like you have some really good shit here, but it's being dragged down by all the rest of the just just mediocre shit, which is just so, damn, like I, I don't want to give it this ranking, but it's like, it's like being held down by, it's like it has, it's some great shit, but it's being held down by the rest of the like mediocre shit, so yeah, damn, it's just because I'm having to rank it as, an, as a whole album, not just the good shit, the whole album. So, damn, I'm going to have to give it, like, a low B tier, I think. Um, I, I'd, say it's, I'd, I'd say it's better than the creation. And it's, is it better than, uh, is it better than Life After All? I mean, I'd say Life After All is better because there's, it's a shorter album, and it has more, like, of a ratio of good songs to bad songs on, uh, on Life After Rollo compared to this. So this is like, this takes like an hour to listen to. This is like, yeah, it's like an hour to listen to compared to um, Life After Rollo is like, what, like 15 minutes? Uh, 23 minutes, yeah. So compared to that, it's like way more of a, of a sludge to uh, listen to all of fucking Don't Fuck With Me Later. And so much of it is just blech, like just blame, like skip, 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 skip. That um, it just, yeah, it's just unfortunate. 
So yeah, I, I'm actually gonna have to put Life After Rallo above Don't Fuck With Me Later. Alright, next up is Sincerely Mad. Uh, my friend actually called this one Sincerely Mid, which, I mean, I get why he thinks that. But, uh, there's some good shit on here as well. Like, at first I agreed with him, I was like, eh, it's pretty lame. But there's actually some really good shit on here. Jack and Jill is one of the, I think it's not the hardest. Dead Off would be the hardest song. I think Jadot's ever put out this whole year is Dead Off. But uh, Jack and Jill's, like, definitely top five. It's really good. Um, what's another good one? Uh, dope Slangin' and then Biggest Problem. So, yeah, I'd say, like, yeah, three standout tracks. Uh, the rest is just kind of, uh, I don't really, yeah, I don't really care about this. Like, it, it's not that good, um, most of this stuff. So there's only three standout tracks. Out of a 14-track album, that's around, uh, like, what? I'm not good with math. That's, like, that's like around, like, uh, 30%, I think. Something, like, around something like that. Um, but, yeah, like, like again, it's kind of a thing with, uh, similar to uh, Don't Fuck With Me Later. It's just a lot of, like, mediocre shit. And then it has, like, some real bangers in here. And Biggest Problem isn't even a banger, in my opinion. Like, it's, it's all right, but, like, you know, it's, like, one of those songs. I had, I had it on my playlist just un as like a placeholder until i found something better <laughs> you know as, as, as like fucked up as that as rude as that sounds i mean i'm not trying to but you know like it's it's all right it's just there's like better shit that i was just waiting to like for jada to come out with better shit so that then i could replace it you know what i mean i'd say actual bangers that i keep on my place are dope slinging and jack and jill so there's really only two out of a 14 track album that is you know that's uh what seven percent or something like that like that's not very good so again it's like similar to uh don't fuck with me later when it has some good shit but it's being held back by a lot of mediocre shit and it's um it's actually exactly half the length of don't fuck with me later so similar effect but it's it's i'd actually say it's worse than don't fuck with me later because don't fuck with me later had w a lot more standout songs and this one only has two so yeah i mean i i, I do kind of agree with him sincerely mid but these two are really good so <coughs> so Sincerely mid goes here. Let me see. I mean, is it better? Uh, it's better than Who Am I? I'd say, but I think it's it's not as good as Too Influenced. So yeah, I'd say I'd say that's a good spot for it. All right. So lastly, we got J Dot's most recent album, his collab album with Lil Papa. Enjoy the show. Uh, it's only nine songs long, and. Honestly, I didn't really enjoy the show. <laughs> I mean, um, it's, you know, yeah, like, like I only have one song on, of this whole thing on my playlist, and that is, um, it is, uh, it's, which one is, I, like, I don't, it's Last Chance. See, you see, look, I can't even remember, like, I can't even remember the name of the song because it's so mediocre. It's Last Chance, and it's, it's because it's, like, the only drill song, semi-drill song on here. And it's, I, I'm not even going to say, I guess it's standout track, sure, but it's like, it's just not, it's just, uh, like, you know, of, of this track, it stands out, but if Last Chance was on, like, a Society, it would be, like, not even a standout track. It's just a standout track because it's the least worst one on this album. Uh, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of Lil Papa. I've started kind of warming up to him a little bit. I've been listening, like, before I didn't listen to any Lil Papa songs at all. Now I listen to... Uh, like one, I think, or like two. Like I have, I have a, um, I forgot what the song is called, but it's like the fucking something about business or something uh, from like Evergreen Wild Child Two. Um, that song's pretty good. Uh, I, I get why people like him. I can definitely like when he works, he works. Lil Papa definitely works. Like on that track, that's that's hard as fuck. You know what I mean? The beat and the way he's able to like he flows on the song and his and his and his you know his delivery, like his whiny delivery, kind of works sometimes. It sounds kind of good sometimes. Um, and it allows him to do interesting things with the way he rhymes, because he's like, especially at the end of, um, I think it's Dead Bands, he like rhymes some shit that would never rhyme, but it's because he has the whiny voice, it like, it does rhyme, because he's like, <laughs> and, it, and it ends up rhyming, um, but yeah, this, you know, I, I just, yeah, uh, it's kind of shitty, you know, to be honest, um, a shitty end, I guess, to like, J-Dot's albums so far, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to 2024, Dead Off. Like, the shit he's put out in November, just his singles, have been really good. So I'm, I, I think his next album will be pretty good. But enjoy the show, man. Like, really, it's going in shit. I just don't know if it's going to be worse than Ghetto Lullaby. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's definitely worse than Ghetto Lullabies. That's for sure. So, yeah, I'd actually say J-Dot's most recent album is his most shit one. Um, but, yeah, let me just, like, check the list. Uh, check the tier to make sure everything's all right, looking good. I think... 
almost there should still be there uh, at S for sure. Society, uh, I don't know if I should put society in S tier. I'm thinking about it, but I just don't know if it's on the same level as almost there. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just, uh, I just, I don't know. I mean, would you guys put society at the same level as almost there? I don't know. I mean, it's good. It's good, but I'm not going to put it at S tier. It's really good though. Uh, rage, I still think rage is under society slightly, very slightly. The leak, uh, I actually was kind of surprised how low I put the leak. I was thinking the leak was going to go up here, but then I saw it. I'm like, oh damn, it's only nine tracks and only like a few of them are actually good. I think it's just because the few tracks that are on the leak, I just listen to them over and over again. Like tweak shit. I've listened to tweak shit probably like, I don't even know, like 47 times or something. Like, you know, I, I listen to a lot of the shit on, on the leak, but it's like, the, it's only those few tracks like bully with backstreet. I've listened to that like once. And I was like, I only listened to half of it. You know what I mean? So I think this is good. Uh, Life After Rollo is good there. I think, uh, yeah, Don't Fucking Me Later is just such a slog. It's, like, so long. Um, I was actually thinking this would be higher. I was thinking Don't Fucking Me Later was going to be, like, up here uh, because of the amount of tracks I put on my playlist. But uh, it's actually, like, it's it's just, yeah, it's, it, have a, it has a lot of good tracks. But it's just, it has so many tracks. It has so many bad tracks, too, just because the album is so long. Um, you know, so it's just, yeah, I don't know. It almost feels like he was kind of forced to just make a ton of songs because of Deluxe Edition or whatever. He just was forced to just make a ton of his labels that make more songs. And he just shitted them out um, on, like, a conveyor belt. Um, the creation, I mean, yeah, I think, yeah, because, like, yeah, yeah, Tweak Shit 3 is, is decent. But, yeah, I'd say... Also, it's weird how Tweak Shit 3 is the only Tweak Shit that didn't get a video. I think that's weird. Uh, I don't know if J-Dot should make a Tweak Shit 5. I mean... He, 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 maybe he should, but it's kind of like, it's been like two years since the last tweak shit, so I feel like the series is kind of over, but if he does make one, I hope it's good, obviously, because all of them have been good, all tweak shits have been good, so if he makes like a shitty tweak shit, it's gonna suck, it's gonna be like, what the fuck, it's like, it's like gonna be like, um, the Lord of the Rings or some shit, like, all three movies are great, and then you make a fourth one and it sucks, it just ruins the whole series, so that's why I feel like with tweak shit, it has to be good, if he's gonna make tweak shit five, it has to be good, um, two and yeah, I think this is pretty good. Um, Sincerely Mad is better than Who Am I? Uh, Quran, Ghetto. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Yeah. So, uh, I have published this actually on Tier Maker. So, if you could find it, you guys can make your own thing or whatever. Let me know what your opinions are in the comments. Um, again, remember, this is just my opinion. Like, I'm not some fucking music critic, professional music critic. This is just my opinion. Um, so, yeah, don't spaz out. Be nice. And I think that's it. You guys, stay safe out there. Children Entertainment Network, out.